Hey, what's going on there, internet people? So, um, got a question. Uh, is it just me, or does it seem like... Am I starting to feel like, uh, I'm starting to feel like YouTube is, is trying to destroy itself. I mean, well, I shouldn't say itself, but it's trying to destroy the very thing that made it what it is. And that is basically, you know, user-created activity. So it seems lately that if you're not one of the million, million, if you're not in the million sub club, or uh, not making millions for YouTube, or you're not a sub or anything like that, YouTube no longer gives a crap about you. I mean, they're banning people from streaming for the tiniest things. Like, people false flag and report these videos, people's videos, and make things up. And YouTube just doesn't do anything to, to fix the problem. You know, unless you are in the in the million, in the million billion sub club or shit, or shit like that. And this isn't me just sitting here complaining because I'm a, I'm a tiny, 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 insignificant little channel that doesn't make any money. I'm noticing that bigger channels, channels way bigger than me... Who, uh, who subs are in like the hundred thousands are also pretty much getting the shaft. You know, they're getting uh, they're getting their streams banned. They can't they can't stream for a couple of months or this that other thing. They're getting the videos like demonetized for like the littlest thing. They put one word wrong in the title or in the tags, and for some reason YouTube decides that's inappropriate and they they, they just block it from getting. Well, I don't want to say block from getting monetized. They still get it monetized. You just get that little yellow thing that like limits ads, so not everything is gonna. Not every ad is going to play in your video that's out there, just like certain ones or some, you know, some stupid shit like that. It doesn't it really matter, but I just feel like that uh, YouTube is basically trying to drive out all the user-generated content unless you are basically a celebrity, part of a TV show. I mean, you got these late-night hosts like that. They got YouTube channels. Will Smith's got a YouTube channel. so like that. Now, while these channels are entertaining, they seem to get away with a lot more than, uh, than the average YouTube channel. Some guy just like uploads his opinion, all of a sudden he's blocked or demonetized or, you know, he gets banned from YouTube for making it for a couple of weeks or can't stream for a couple of months, you know, some shit like that. But meanwhile, everybody else who is basically generating income for, I mean, I mean, when I mean income, I mean like the millions, okay? I'm not talking about like, uh, I'm not talking about a Joe Q YouTube has a couple hundred subs and is able to pull in like a, a thousand or two a month or something like that. They don't give a crap about that guy either, and they're trying so hard to get rid of even them. I'm talking about like the the people who are just got like millions of subs can get like a million views in like a half a day or less than that, whatever. Somebody upload a video, oh, million views, right? You know, Logan Pauls or anything like that. This guy is the golden boy of YouTube right now. He can do no wrong. The uh, the CEO of YouTube wants to suck his dick or some shit like that. She probably already has. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So. <laughs> They're basically sitting there trying to get rid of, like, anybody and anything who isn't, like, making them money or isn't an overnight sensation or anything like that. Like I said, I noticed people who, like, you know, bigger channels than me, they're getting, like, thou they have, like, thousands, of, hundreds of thousands of subs, get hundreds of thousands of views per video and stuff like that. And YouTube is still giving them the shaft. A lot of these people are referring or starting to rely on uh, Patreon donations to, to keep their channel going because uh, YouTube decides... Somebody on YouTube decided that these people just aren't good enough or whatever like that. They cut they cut a lot of what they make in half. They limit the ads. They try to ban them from streaming, doing those other things. And, uh, like, oh, yeah, and if you're sitting there trying to use a super chat, oh, they're trying to, trying to prevent you from using Patreon. It's like, oh, you can't do, you can't use Patreon through, you can't do this, you can't use Patreon, you have to use this. I mean, you can use Patreon, but then if you do that, they don't let you use super chat or something like that. Unless they change it, I don't know. But like I said, to me, I just feel like YouTube is trying to trying to self-destruct and reinvent itself. It wants to get rid of all the regular people doing regular things, just trying to bring content and entertainment to you. And they, they like I said, I've been saying it over and over. They just want to so desperately be a TV service. I mean, every time I log on to the site to watch a video, I get, would you like to supply, would like to subscribe to YouTube Red? Would you like to subscribe to YouTube TV? Would you like to subscribe to, to YouTube Music? I keep telling them no. No, I do not want to do that. Y you think after a while, they'd be like, okay, so I guess this particular person doesn't want to do that, but no. No, 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 no. They ask every time. Like, first time I log on each day or watch a video or like that, they get that stupid little advertising thing in the corner. Would you like to try YouTube Red? Would you like, no, I don't want to do any of those things. All right? I don't, like, nobody, I don't. People don't come to the site to pay to watch things. Yes, I know there are, I know there are, like, services that I do pay to watch on a monthly basis, stuff like that. But, you know, that was it from the beginning. YouTube wasn't like that. YouTube was, like, for everybody. 
you know, as long as you weren't like uh, murdering or raping people or doing anything like unspeakably bad in your videos, you were fine. You could say what you want, you can do what you want outside of as long as it was like in the legal territory. You know what I'm saying, but now it's like you you like you try to upload a video, and all of a sudden you're under like all this scrutiny. Unless you're like one of the bigger guys, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, come right on in, brother, my brother, my sister, come on in, go ahead, enjoy, S enjoy the spoils of YouTube, and uh, fuck everybody else, fuck them. So, oh man, I mean, I've seen some scandals in my day during YouTube, in my time in YouTube, but this is like the latest one. I don't know if it's gonna get worse or get better, but like I said, to me, I just, I just feel like YouTube is just trying to kill itself and then reinvent itself as, as something else. And sooner or later, even the people who were making like a hundred, who are, who are like in the hundred thousand sub group, are just gonna get shafted as well. And oh god, never mind what they're gonna do to us little guys. I'm sure our time is uh, very limited by the end of this year. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have any type of platform whatsoever, making money or not. So uh, yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, they're really killing themselves, and we're all sitting there hoping that some other. Some other website will rise up and fix this, but so far, nobody is trying at all whatsoever, so I don't know. Soon the days of user-generated content might come to an end. At least user-generated content that you don't have to pay for. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. So, see you guys next time.